I've been thinking. When life gives you lemons, don't make lemonade. Make life take the lemons back. Get mad! I don't want your damn lemons! What am I supposed to do with these? Demand to see life's manager. Make life rue the day it thought it could give Cave Johnson lemons. Do you know who I am? I'm the man who's gonna burn your house down with the lemons. So I'm sure most of us saw the uh, f bit of freakouts and different confusion about what this whole VRChat Plus is. And there's been a lot of memeing and different things going on which has caused some confusion for people. So I just want to help clear up some of what's going on with this whole thing. Um, well first of all, this is an optional upgrade that you can have for your account. It will be $10 a month. And what it does, it'll give you a few cosmetic perks and different things that they're not going to be game-changing features, it's not going to be anything that is like um, limiting people behind a paywall. It's just going to be a few things like badges and things like that to kind of give back to those who want to help support the devs. So it's kind of based around the same idea as Discord Nitro, and that's kind of the whole idea that, that they're going with. I just wanted to answer a couple questions that people have been having about this, one of which is who's going to be doing the payment information. Uh, well, VRChat is not going to be taking your credit card information. They're not going to be handling your money. Payment will go through uh, systems like Steam and possibly Oculus and different ones like that will be the ones handling your payments. It won't be the VRChat themselves, so hopefully that helps make some people a bit more comfortable. What this means for people with free accounts is you'll still get the full game. Like, nothing will change for us. If you're playing the free, you'll still get the same exact stuff we've gotten now, we'll get future updates. So all the new features and stuff will still come to free VR chat. And as it is now, uh, free accounts have had their favorites boosted up to 25 slots, uh, rather than the 16 that we had before. So that in itself is a nice little perk to free accounts. So yeah, it's not going to be something that's limiting a whole bunch of good features behind the paywall. It's just a couple of cosmetic stuff and a few other small things which won't take away if you don't have it. So I just want to look, go down the page here to see what we've got. Um, so the custom user icons. Basically what's happening is everyone is getting a new nameplate. Like even if you have a free account, we're all getting new nameplates. These nameplates are small and they're gray. And we won't be separated by different rank colors. So that's going to be a nice thing. We won't have any like gray, blue, uh, purple, all these different nameplates. Uh, at first glance, everyone will look the same, and it's only if you open up your quick menu that you'll be able to see different people's uh, trust levels. So we'll all have the same nameplates, but if you get premium, uh, you can also add a small icon to the side of your nameplate. Uh, this is, can be something that you take in game, or something that you upload from the website, so, so that'll be the way that, that works. You can just add a small icon to your nameplate, but otherwise nameplates look the same for everyone now. If you get the plus, you can also have to 100 favorite slots, um, which the previous for everyone was 16. Now for free, you get 25, and you can get 100 if you get VRChat Plus. I don't really know who would all use that because most people I know who've been playing the game for a long time don't really use favorites that much, so I guess that's appealing to some, but not everyone. Uh, you'll also get a little supporter badge on your account now. Uh, this isn't like something that pops up in your nameplate or something, this is on your uh, profile page in game. So if someone opens up the menu and clicks on you, uh, you'll just have a small little cat icon on your on your profile page. So that's all that is. And another feature that's been uh, confusing some is the increased trust. So some people are thinking that's been like a way to buy levels or uh, a new rank or something like that. That's not at all what this is. Uh, increased trust is basically just like a couple points towards your trust rank. For example, um, say to go from uh, like new user to user, it takes, for example, 15 points or something like that, right? Um, everything that you do in game adds a little bit of points. Uh, so adding friends will add a couple points. Um, uploading worlds, exploring worlds, something that will add a couple points to your trust rank. And that's all this is doing is just adding a couple points to your trust rank, which will help it level up. And we'll also be getting more features on the way. A couple things teased so far has been uh, UI reskins. So as far as our, our as far as our menus and stuff like that, we'll be able to reskin it if you have the uh, VRChat Plus. 
and as well it looks like we'll be getting a messaging system where we can send messages back and forth uh, for invites and stuff like that and if you have the tr the plus you'll be able to send a picture along with that as well without plus you can still send uh, the messages but just not with the picture and there's going to be some more features as well but which will be stuff that's not hiding any sort of core game mechanics but maybe just a couple small perks the same idea as discord nitro so um I have to show a bit of what this looks like in-game. Uh, sorry I'm not in VR, um, but in, I haven't really been feeling that good lately, so I'll just be doing it on desktop. So basically, if you open up your menu, this is what it looks like right now, and you have the option to add a profile icon there. So uh, this is what gets added to your nameplate if you have plus. You can just uh, take a picture of yourself in-game and adjust it around like this. Uh, you can also go to the website and upload a custom image if you want and uh, this will go into a library that you can select to put onto your nameplate. So this is the, what's different in Plus is uh, with a normal free account you just get a blank nameplate which looks the same for everyone and then on Plus you can put this small icon on it uh, which looks the same as everyone else. You just have the icon on the side of the nameplate if you would like to do that. You also have new options as far as your nameplates. If you open up the UI options, you can now select to have your nameplate be just the icon. You can have it so that it's you can change the opacity of it and or just turn it off as well. Along with this, you can also select whether or not you want to show um, things like trust ranks and things like that when you open up the quick menu. I believe if you have it set to icon only, and you don't have plus, it'll still shorten everyone's nameplate to an icon size. It'll just show it like the first few letters of their, of their username though. And then this is what it looks like when you open up someone's profile. So it's really not that intrusive. It's just a small icon on the profile itself. And if you click on the VRC plus option, it'll just take you to the page that talks about the different features. So overall, I don't really think it's that big of a deal. Um, VRChat as it is will continue the way it always has. Um, we'll still get full updates for the free game, and this is basically just like a Discord Nitro, where you're just putting in a bit to support the devs and get a couple small features, but nothing that is substantial and will like make incompat incompatibilities between different users and stuff like that. So it's not something I think is as big of a deal as some people are making it out to be. And I can understand some of the hate and different comments, but I just wanted to make sure everyone understood what it really was and it's not like some pay to win system and hiding some really big features behind a paywall so so uh, i hope that clears some stuff up and everyone have a good day